it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play the song that has got the name of the name that is called Nine to Five by Dolly Parton from an excellent movie of the same name. So grab your uke, make sure it's in tune, and when it is in tune, it should sound something like this. And let's go ahead and learn how to play Nine to Five. I'm gonna go ahead and play you through a quick snippet of the song first to give you guys a rough idea of how it'll sound when you've learned it. If you'd like a PDF song sheet to help you follow along, then sign up today to patreon.com slash uteacher. You'll get a PDF song sheet with every single lesson that I post, plus loads of other cool perks, goodies, and rewards as well. Tumble out of bed and stumble to the kitchen, pour myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping Out on the streets the traffic starts jumping With folk like me on the job from 9 till 5 Working 9 till 5 What a way to make a living Barely getting by It's all taken and no giving They just use your mind And they never give you credit It's enough to drive you crazy if you let it 9 till 5 For service and devotion So there's two things we need to know about this song. One, the good news is there's just four chords in it all the way through and they are super easy. The bad news is there's two different strumming patterns to learn and they are not so super easy. So let's break it down section by section. First, these are the chords that you'll need to know for this song. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of C, put your third finger on the third fret of the first string. And the chord of C should sound like this. To play the chord of F, put your first finger on the first fret of the second string and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of F should sound like this. To play the chord of G, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G should sound like this. And to play the chord of D, bar the second fret with your first finger. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time. And then add your fourth finger to the fifth fret of the first string. And the chord of D should sound like this. If you struggle playing D that way because you don't like playing bar chords, you can either watch my bar chord video, which will give you a couple of handy hints and tips to make playing bars a little bit easier. Or you can play D in the open position by putting your first, second, and third fingers on the 2nd fret of the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings. And in that instance, the chord of D will sound like this. Now the strumming pattern for the verse is relatively simple, but it's not something that we play every day. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it through a bunch of times, and I'm going to call it out as I play it, and you guys can join in once you get the hang of it, and we'll just keep playing it again and again and again until it comes a second nature to us. The pattern that I'm playing is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. If you guys have got the hang of that, then that's fantastic. Keep going with this video. If you haven't, then write down the strumming pattern or pause the video and just play it through again and again and again until you can pretty much play it without thinking about it. When you can play it a little bit faster, it should sound a little bit more like this. And that's the strumming pattern you're going to need for the verse. For the first half of the verse, the chords are just C to F, followed by C to G. 
and you play that down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up pattern once on each of those chords like this. C, F, C, G. Then the second half of the verse starts off very similar with the chords of C to F, but for the final line the chords are C to G to C. And here we split that pattern across the C and G. You can just play down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the C, you play down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So the second half of the verse should sound like this. Together and your verse should sound a little something like this. Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen, pour myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping, blow on the streets and the traffic starts jumping with folks like me on the job from nine to five. And that's how to play your verse. Now we're going to move on to the chorus, and the good news is the chords remain fairly straightforward to play. The bad news is the strumming pattern changes up a little bit. So let's figure out what the strumming pattern is for the chorus. The strumming pattern that I play for the chorus is something along the lines of down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Twice on most of the chords, like this. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So for the first half of the chorus, the chords are F to C to F to D to G. Here you play that down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up pattern twice on all of the chords except for the D and the G, where you just play it once, like this. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. And the second half of the chorus is exactly the same, like this. So play that section through twice and you've got your chorus. It should sound a little something like this. Working nine till five. takes you into verse 2, which has exactly the same chords as verse 1, and then you just repeat the chorus twice to end the song. So put that all together, and that's how to play 9 to 5 by Dolly Parton. So let's go ahead and play through everything that we've learned so far. We're just going to play through verse 1 and the chorus. Don't forget, if you would like a PDF song sheet to help you follow along with this lesson, sign up today to patreon.com slash youteacher. You get a PDF song sheet with every lesson. There's a search facility so you can find song sheets for old lessons. Plus, you get each video at least 24 hours before the rest of the world. And there's loads of other cool perks, goodies, and exclusive rewards as well. So, when you're ready, let's take it from the top nice and slow. Tumble out of bed and stumble to the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping out on the streets The traffic starts jumping with folk like me on the job from 9 till 5 Working 9 till 5, what a way to make a living Barely getting by, it's all taken and no giving They just use your mind and they never give you credit It's enough to drive you crazy if you let it 9 till 5, for service and devotion you would think that I would be some fair promotion 
So put that all together and that's how to play 9 to 5 by Dolly Parton. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons that you'd like to learn, then let me know right now in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.